Welcome to my scientifically informed insider look at mental health topics. If you find this video to be interesting or helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question asks if I can provide my thoughts on Teal Swan. She is a self-proclaimed spiritual catalyst, as well as a writer, public speaker, and teacher. Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. Now, Teal Swan was born Mary Teal Bosworth in 1984 in New Mexico, although she grew up in Utah. It's my understanding that she now lives in Costa Rica. When she was young, she experienced bullying and trauma. She's made some extraordinary claims about extreme harm that happened to her when she was young, including those perpetrated by members of a cult. She claims her memories were repressed, but later unlocked by a therapist. She successfully completed high school and would later move on to her career as a spiritual leader. She claims to be special in many ways. She claims to have extrasensory perception. She can see into the future, perceive beings in spiritual realms, travel out of her body, and read people's minds. She says she is not limited to this dimension or time-space reality. So when talking about reality not limited by is different than disconnected from. She says that she's half human and half alien. She's also said that she is a reincarnation of an Indian guru. She claims that she is a universal mirror, an embodiment of a three-dimensional reflector tool. If you step in front of her, evidently, you can see the truth. She claims her intelligence was tested twice when she was younger. Both scores were over 170 points. So she's claiming to have an IQ above 170. Among the popular empirically validated instruments for measuring intelligence, the highest maximum score on any of those would be 160, which is four standard deviations above the mean. To obtain a score of 170, the individual giving the IQ test would have to be qualified to make that projection, and those projections are highly unreliable. But let's just say her IQ was over 170, this would make Teal Swan one of the most intelligent people in the world. She claims to be able to help people who are at risk of self-harm, those who are angry, and those who have repressed memories. She made a controversial statement suggesting that there was nothing wrong with ending one's life. She referred to suicide as a reset button, saying that one can't say that it's wrong without saying death is wrong. Now, as I understand it, that video with those statements has been removed. It was on her YouTube channel. Now, her YouTube channel has over 700,000 subscribers, and it's been viewed almost 90 million times. I looked briefly at a few of her successful videos. We see videos like how to activate a third eye, how to increase one's frequency and vibration, and videos about energy healing. She does not have any formal education in mental health counseling. When she was challenged about her educational level, she said that her question to anybody would be, if you went back in time, and sat at the foot of Albert Einstein, would you ask him for his credentials? She says that people who know him understand that he was given a PhD because he didn't need to study. So this is wrong on many levels. Einstein was awarded honorary degrees, but he also earned real degrees. It's interesting that she's comparing herself to Albert Einstein at all. When asked specifically about a psychology degree, she said that many people who take her courses have degrees even though she does not. So under this logic, if there was a chef teaching a room full of astronauts about maintaining a healthy diet, when the training was over, he should be able to fly the space shuttle. I think too that Teal Swan misunderstands a lot of the terms that she uses in her writings and in her videos. For example, she talks about the role of the subconscious mind, but she seems to be confusing it with the autonomic nervous system, suggesting that the subconscious mind controls respiration, and digestion. I find this to be a pretty common mistake that people in this new age crowd make. They're looking at a construct from the world of mental health, like the subconscious mind, and confusing it with a construct that's physiological in origin. The subconscious and the autonomic nervous system are two completely separate things. The subconscious mind is a place that contains information that somebody could recall if they wanted to. For example, if somebody was asked to recall the name of their fourth grade teacher. Most people could probably have a chance of doing that. It resides in the subconscious mind. They're not thinking about it before the question, but when the question is asked, 
they can do it. This is a lot different than a system that controls things like heart rate and breathing. Now, she has a number of theories about mental health treatment. She developed her own mental health treatment called the completion process that ostensibly helps people recover from trauma. Somebody can go to one of her trainings and become a certified practitioner in this method. I find this interesting. Other people's education does not matter to Teal Swan, but a certificate from her does matter. That somehow is valid. She also said that a person cannot suffer new trauma after the age of eight. When somebody thinks they're traumatized after this age, it's just a reflection of a prior wound. So here she's just flat out wrong, as she is pretty much most of the time. This is just made up nonsense. There is extremely strong evidence supporting that somebody can be traumatized after the age of eight. A number of traumas actually occur after the age of eight. Teal Swan holds herself out as a revolutionary. She said, the reason I'm calling myself a revolutionary is because I don't fit in with the methodologies of today. I'm a game changer. One of those methodologies that she doesn't fit in with would be the scientific method. She has also compared herself to Jesus Christ, Martin Luther King Jr., and Gandhi. She says that she is superior to all mental health professionals. The reason these mental health professionals call her a con artist and a fraud is because of her incredible level of knowledge that invalidates all of their education and experience. When they look upon her greatness, they realize that their life is not valid. So Teal Swan is so great that in looking at her work, mental health professionals realize that they have thrown their lives away. Although she has contempt for mental health professionals, she believes that she could become a brilliant counselor or psychologist. She says that she could outsmart people's egos and help them to see things about themselves that they are not totally aware of. So in her mind, being a good counselor means having an amazing ability to manipulate people. So this is where we see much of the problem with Teal Swan. Now she's been accused of being a cult leader. She says that she's aware that the situation that she's in could easily lead to a cult, but her ethics prevent that from happening. Well, that's reassuring. These are the ethics that she undoubtedly made up herself because we know she didn't learn them anywhere else. So what's her mission? What's her goal with this whole public speaking, all these courses, putting out videos, putting out books? Well, she says her goal is, among other things, wealth. She wants to buy countries and build new societies. I feel like buying a planet would be more appropriate for her. After all, she is half alien. She considers her followers part of her army, ready to experience the collective awakening, which probably occurs after the collective giving her all their money. That's usually how cults work. The question with somebody like Teal Swan always comes down to intention. Is she trying to fool people or does she really believe everything that she says? Well, there's no way for me to know what's going on specifically with Teal Swan, but what could be going on in a situation like this? There are many possibilities. She could really believe all the things that she says. So essentially, she spreads misinformation because she is misinformed. There could be some sort of disconnect from reality, anywhere from mild perceptual disturbances all the way up to delusional thinking. There could be extreme personality traits like narcissism. Now, many people have actually suggested that Teal Swan is narcissistic. She has actually addressed this characterization. She says, I'm an empath. It's impossible to be an empath and a narcissist at the same time. Not only is this untrue, one could argue that she's really not demonstrating empathy, but rather simply manipulating people. Now, narcissism has a few different characteristics. Some may align with some of her behaviors. Let's take a look at a few that could align. Manipulation, as I mentioned, she's giving mental health advice to people when she has no idea what she's doing. And she says she's a master at mental chess, playing mind games with people. Then we see potentially superficial charm. She makes a good initial impression, but after listening to her for a minute, she really makes no sense. I really find it a struggle to listen to her talk, right? So if it gets past two or three seconds, the narrative already becomes kind of meaningless, directionless, and it's just a struggle to pay attention to her. We see some behavior that aligns with overconfidence. She is very sure of herself, whether she's saying something true or false. We see this idea of believing oneself to be special or unique. This one would align with 
many of the things that she has said, and fantasies of incredible power or success. She wants to become so wealthy she can buy entire countries. Even most people with extreme fantasies don't believe they will ever be able to buy countries, right? So that's out of the realm of thinking even for people that have grandiose plans. No matter what the reason is for her behavior, Teal Swan promotes a dangerous ideology. She essentially argues that experience, training, competency, and science don't amount to anything. In the world of Teal Swan, the only thing that matters is that she declared herself as knowing everything. People should listen to her simply because she told them to. This runs against logic, science, and common sense. Now, I know whenever I talk about topics like controversial, spiritual, catalyst, or whatever it is that she said she was, there will be a variety of opinions. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be interesting. Thanks for watching.